Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Give God Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Praise God. May the Lord bless you. You may be seated in the presence of our Father. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Benedata. Brethren. We should be in strength. Let us put on strength. Let us put on strength. So that we can be able to be in this kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. For this kingdom of God. It is false. The enemy fights more. And he fights no one else. It's you and I. He fights us. If you are determined. And you are a Christian. And you said I'm determined in my journey. The journey of salvation. Not a journey of the group. Where you go so and so has gone to church, he's praising, let me do the same. Because today is Tuesday and we have a fellowship, let me just go. You just go not knowing where you are going. And you don't know what you are doing. It is not like that. I should not be like that. We should be Christians who are determined. Christians who are powerful. That are determined on the journey. Amen. As a singer sang and said, I am a Christian. I continue my journey. The things of this world, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Hallelujah. Amen. We must possess the things of the world and we must live in it because God gave them to us. Glory to God. What God says, it is your salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. It is your salvation. His kingdom in you. This is what God considers. That is what he's focusing on. Glory to God. And that is the reason this month it was a month where burdens had to be removed from us because we saw that in those burdens there are things that are heavy on us and we cannot continue our journey they oppress us and that is the truth of reality but because our God is a wise worker he is always thinking for us Hallelujah. amen Tell your neighbor, God is always mindful about you. Even if you sit and plan, and you say, how will I do this and this? But there is God also who is on your side, who is planning for you. And planning how you should live. Planning how you should, how you should be. Amen. Those are God's responsibilities. That is his job upon your life and upon your, my life. Amen. God did not forsake us. His word tells us he gave us angels and these angels they minister to us. They minister to us. Amen. One day God spoke to me on how angels minister to us. I was at work and not praying. Amen. Where you are thinking how things are going at home and how you are going to do your job. And God told me there are angels who minister to you. And God told me there are angels who minister to you. 
Hallelujah. Then I laughed and I said, there are those who are taking care of my children, those who are looking on how things are going at home. Everything that can worry you. And God tells you that the angels are in charge of that. How I wish that Christians and we know our God. God fight for us. God takes care of our children. Amen. Amen. He takes care of our children. He's looking out of your things. But most of the time, you find that our hearts are worried about everything. But if you believe that in everything that you are concerned about, God has sent servants to take care of it. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no reason for the burdens. That's why God spoke to us and he said this month it is a month for burdens to be removed. If you were carrying burdens, if they were before you, they are remaining with this month of July in the name of Jesus. That's how it is, brethren. Let us Christians, let us open our hearts and have the power of the glory of God and have the power of God. Let us know that we are children of God. Let us know that God cares for us and God cannot leave us but God has a good plan upon your life and my life say hallelujah. Amen. 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 We are in the days of fasting as we pray preparing for the Holy Communion on Sunday. But let us be alert so that God can do good to us. Let us throw away everything heavy on us for God to work with us. The word I want us to share it is already saying after being, burdens being removed believe in Jesus Christ again. Believe in Jesus Christ again. After the burdens have been removed because burdens they are heavy on us and we cannot be able to believe. And now they have a big place in our life. But praise God that he has removed them from us this month. So we should increase our faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We should increase our faith. Sometimes our faith is weakened. Sometimes it gets weak. Sometimes you think that you have it. Yet it has gone. It is just on mouth. Hallelujah. Amen. When someone tells you, say, I believe. But it is not in the heart. But brethren, let us have power again to believe in Jesus Christ. To believe the one who was crucified for us. To believe the one who gave his life for us. To believe that he is with us. To do good to us. Have faith in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Put on faith in the name of Jesus. May your faith be rifted up. May you believe in the one who created you. He's the God who has you in his hand. And no one can take you from that hand. Amen. Let us read the word of God. Matthew chapter 8. Matthew 8. Hallelujah. Amen. We are reading Matthew chapter 8 from verse 5 to 10 and then we jump to 13. Mwami umugaragu wanjye aryamye mu nzu yararemaye arababaye cyane when jesus entered capernaum an official came to him asking for help lord he said my servant lies at home paralyzed suffering terribly aramubwira ati yesu aramubwira ati ndanza mukize 
Jesus said to him, Shall I come and heal him? Umutkware wava sirikada na musu vizati mgami. Hibi mwire yuko winjira munzu yanje, ahugo teje kagusa, umugaragu wanjira chiri. The official replied, Lord, I don't deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say a word, my servant will be healed. Kuko nanje ndumu nutkwaru kwa nabandi, fitaba sirikare nwara. Yomgi yunga nijenda, arajenda. Nabgiru ndi nguino akaza. Nabgiru mugaragu wanje ni korichi, akajikora. For I myself am a man under authority, with soldiers under me. I tell this one, go, he goes, and that one, come, he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. Yesu, abjumvi saratangara, abgira wamu kurichi ati, ndaba abgiru kuri yuko, nabgo narinabo na kwize la kunga na gurcha, habe no mubi siraheri. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Truly I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. Tusimuke kumurongwa chumi na gata tu. Yesu abgiru wa motkwarati. Nuko jenda, vikuwele huko wizei. Umugaraguwe achiru wa mganya. Amen. Then Jesus said to the official, Go, let it be done just as you believe it would be. And this servant was healed at that moment. Amen. Amen. Let us clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. This official, he was a normal person like you and me. Amen. Amen. He had a problem. The word of God told us that he had authority over soldiers. He had like a hundred soldiers under him. Then he met Jesus Christ. When he met Jesus, he he told him the problem he had of the servant. We saw that the servant was paralyzed and he was suffering. Amen. Amen. Then he said that to Jesus. Jesus did not delay. He said, I will come and heal him. But this official, the way he had seen Jesus Christ, he said, no, Lord. I don't deserve that you enter under my Lord. I'm also a person of authority. When I tell my servant to go, he goes. When I tell him to come, he comes. When I tell them do this, they do it. This official so great power in Jesus Christ. You do not have to bother yourself coming to my home. But just say a word. Should we, should we know that just, Jesus can just say a word? And when he commands, it is done. He, this person understood. How I wish that we also understand. And we know Jesus Christ that we know. And we know who we are. Uh, this can give us this power to be what What's being repeated several times should not be repeated. We should walk in those words and believe them and things are done. But brethren, we need another power of faith for us to believe that what God is telling us is true. For us to know that what the word of God tells us is true. The whole month of July from the beginning, we were told words of God. Even if I was not allowed, but I was following on Zoom. The reason for burdens, the way burdens can be removed, what we can do for them to be removed, we were told a lot of words. 
I don't know whether you still remember those words. Or you take time and you go back to your book and you read. And you read the words you were taught. Because these are words of God. But most of the time, it ends there. And we think are just words. But that is not the reality. We have God who works. If God has released a word for burdens to be removed, he wants those burdens to be removed from you. Do you believe that? That those burdens must be removed. Do you believe that some burdens have been removed? May it be to you as you believe. As Jesus told this official, he told them just send a word that is enough. Amen. Amen. And Jesus said, said, I've never seen a person even in Israel having such great faith. And this was a great person. You know people who, are, who have authority, sometimes they don't believe Jesus, sometimes they even despise him. But for him, he believed in him. He just said, just send a word. Just speak a word. You don't need to come to my house. Hallelujah. Amen. May God give us the power to have faith. Amen. 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 And you feel that God is in your home, God is where you are, and you feel that you are walking with God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Jesus said, um, if I have never seen such person, even in the Israelites, I've seen someone with faith. Because most of the time, we think that we most of the time for us, we want a servant of God to come where we are. And, but this person said, you don't need to go there. Just send an order. When Jesus saw his face, he said, let it be unto you as you believe. May it be unto you as you believe. Hallelujah. Amen. So when they went home, they find a servant healed already. When Jesus didn't lay his hands on him, without seeing Jesus face to face, just because of the face of the master, the servant was healed. Let us have power to have faith. Let us believe that what God speaks to us is true. And, and when we believe, let us stand by it for our lives to be transformed. It is hurting God to be in a life of Christianity but without transformation. And we are told good words of God all the time. Words that heal. Words that comfort us. The prophetic words. But how many do we receive? Don't you say that it's normal? You say, how can it start from me? Where can it come through? In your heart you speak a lot. Glory to God. We should remove everything that bothers us from our hearts. The things that stop us from believing Jesus Christ. Let us remove them and throw them away. And then let us enthrone faith in our hearts. Let us enthrone faith in our hearts. If we enthrone faith, it will take away worry. It will take away anxiety. It will take away thinking a lot. Let us enthrone faith in our hearts.
This is what we should do for our lives. Do not remain the same. God's purpose is that everything changes. God's purpose is to do good to you. God's purpose is to help you. God's purpose is to change your life. Increase the power of faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. There are four things that we need to have for our faith to be strong. Amen. Amen. The four things that we should have within us for our faith to be strong. Amen. Amen. Some, how many believe that faith sometimes becomes mm -hmm. weak? Sometimes faith goes down. We are in the earth of temptation. But increase your faith in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The first thing we should have for our faith to be strong, we should believe that Jesus is great. Jesus is great and strong. Amen. Amen. Jesus is great in our lives. Jesus, Jesus is great in everything in our lives. Do we know that Jesus is great? Amen. Amen. Do we know that? Or we just say it? Hmm? There is speaking from the lips and speaking from the heart. Hallelujah. Amen. But time has come. It has come to pass that we have Jesus Christ in our hearts. Not Jesus on the lips. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We need to feel Jesus in our hearts. We should feel that he's great. Not just words. But we feel him in acts. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have Jesus, you can lack nothing with Jesus. Jesus, he is there for you. He is purposing to do good to you. When he says to remove burdens, he will remove them. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I pray that whoever feels that they still have burden is Jesus to take them off. And then you feel Jesus in a new way. Feel that Jesus is great in you. Jesus is great. Who is hungry? If you are bothered by hungry, you can't be here. What is worrying you? Is it hungry? Hunger. Is it clothes? Is it sickness? You have Jesus. Jesus is great in you. What makes you worry? What do you desire and you can't see it? Jesus is great in you. Believe in him. Because he can do all. Hallelujah. Amen. He is able to deal with sickness. He can deal with poverty. He can deal with Children. He can take care of you. He is able to fight for you. To speak for you. To take you out of the impossible problems. He can do that. Know that Jesus is great in you. And believe him. Hallelujah. Amen. There is nothing impossible to him. Is it slavery? Is it burdens? What kind of burden that Jesus cannot manage? There's nothing. Because his word tells us. Those of you who are well and burdened, come to me. I'll give you less. All of you. There is no number. All of you, the whole world, come to me. I'll give you rest. 
There is no single body that is impossible to Jesus Christ. There is none in the name of Jesus. Believe that King. Believe that He is great in your life. Even if you encounter problems, say I have Jesus. And Jesus is great in me. Have the power to confess it. We learned all no, that. There is nothing we didn't study. We have no excuse before that king. We were told. Tell it, Jesus is great in my life. You are not greater than Jesus. Jesus is above you. Know that Jesus is great in you. There is no one else great in your life. Apart from that, Jesus Christ. Nothing is wrong. Whatever the case, he will make you overcome. Let us feel the greatness of Jesus Christ in us. Sometimes we love Jesus. And we go, we fight for ourselves. No. Get hold of him. Do not release him. Know that he is great in you. When you read the word of God in Proverbs 3. Proverbs chapter 3. 5-6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This Lord Jesus Christ, let us trust in him. Let us trust in him with all our hearts. Do not lean on your understanding. We don't have understanding. There's nothing we can do on our own. Hallelujah. Amen. There is nothing we can do on our own. And there is nothing we can achieve. Only Jesus. Let us trust him with all our hearts. God has given you understanding that is good. It will help you. But the word of God has told us do not lean on it. Don't lean on it. Some people lean on it and they feel they, are, they can do it on their own. They feel whatever they have achieved it is on their own. They feel where they are it is their strength. But God does not accept that. Just lean on Jesus Christ and what you can achieve so it is because of Jesus say it is because of the power of Jesus when you can do something say it is because of Jesus hallelujah Amen. And accept him. We should accept this king in our lives. And we make him alive. And we focus on him. And we don't focus on the surroundings. And we admire him in all. Sometimes Jesus leaves us. Because he see that we have chosen to fight for ourselves. And he see that we can do it on our own. When we have given him our back. But that is not the case. Lean on Jesus Christ. And trust him. Your faith will be strong. Hallelujah. Amen. God requires us to trust him. Who else can you trust apart from God? Can you trust your neighbor? The word of God tells us whoever trusts a human being be cast. It means that God does not want us to trust in people. He wants us to trust in him. You know that our God is a God who is jealous. Amen.
Let us have trust in God. Let us know that our Jesus Christ is great. If we know this, it will protect us from having worries. It will help us from not being anxious. We shall not waste our time in other things. Let us believe in Jesus who is great in us. The second thing, we should accept the will of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to accept the will of God. Some people say that the, the will of God is bitter. But the will of God is good. Say God, your will is good. Is good. The word of God in Jeremiah. Jeremiah miro Jeremiah 29 verse 11 29 verse 11 This is a verse we all know For I know the plans I have for you Plans to prosper you not to harm you Prosper you not to harm you to give you hope for the future, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Our God, He knows the plans He has for us. And His plans for you are good plans, not evil. It is for peace. So the will of God is never bitter. You might be going through temptation and problems. But, but the will of God has accepted that you go through that for him to display his mercy and his power his plans for us is all about peace nothing evil about it to give us hope for the future Hallelujah. amen glory to our God the first thing we see in the will of God is that we should be patient we need patience because the word has told us that he knows the plan he has for us he will do it for us. It is not for that moment. It is in the future. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, there are things he says and do it instantly. Because that is his godliness. But there are others that he delays. That he don't do instantly. So that you can be able to see good things. After that. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to our God. There are things that we should wait for. They can tell you that God has removed the burdens and the burdens are off you. But you see some upon your lives. Not because God did not remove them. But he is testing you to see if you have the power to wait. Many people complain. And that's why people get familiar to the things of God. When God speaks to you, when he delays, you start complaining. And then you come out of the promises. Maybe you need to wait. And you find that complaining has removed you from the promises. Your complaints has stopped God from working. We need to be wise. We need to have strength. We need to be careful in our lives and we know how we should stand so that we can work with God or for God to do what he has purpose to do in our lives. Amen. If there are still burdens you see, 
wait. If it is not today, maybe it is tomorrow. If not tomorrow, next month. Amen. Amen. Have patience in the will of God. Because there is a will of God upon your life. There is what he wants from you. There is appointed time to do that. Stand patiently in the name of Jesus. Sometimes the will of God delays. But it delays when he is preparing it perfectly. When he is perfect affecting it, just aligning it so that he does it in a way that you'll be able to receive it. Even preparing you and perfecting you so that you'll be able to be in it in the right way as God wants. God is a parent. He never desires to do by to us. As his word says, he wants to do good to us so that he brings us Hallelujah. well so that he don't do it and you find many people have we left God some people God answers them and then they leave Christianity they even go outside the house of God they no longer fellowship and God decides to wait to first get you and then prepare you at the right time and he gives it to you when you are strong enough to be able to handle that. Glory to our God. The third that we should have our faith to be strong is to increase our communion with God. Increase your communion with God. We need communion with God. God needs me. And he needs you as well. You coming to his house is because he needs you. So have communion with him try to commune with God. Proverbs 3, 6, where we read. Proverbs 3, 6. In all, in all your ways, submit to him. In our ways, in our lives, in our ways, God wants us to submit to Him. God wants us to walk with Him. You know, this is a year of walking with God. God needs us to walk with Him. God wants us to have communion with Him. Having communion with God, He will be able to guide us. He will guide you in all your ways. He will not lead yourself, but He will lead you together with communion with God. No one ever communion with God and remain the same. God comes and He tells you His secrets. He comes and He shows you what is bothering you. God comes and he shows you all the traps set for you so that you can be able to remove them. So in strengthening our faith, let us have time for communion. Have your personal time in the sacred place with God. Do not just wake up and go. Don't just sleep like that. Have time have a place where you commune with God for God to be able to guide you in what you want in what you need in your ways may him guide you in what you have to do we need communion with God Amen he does not remove burdens from us so that we go and just sleep and then we fall asleep. No. We should have communion with God. God is a parent for God to be able to guide you.
in his voice to give you guidance about your problems to show you the way that you should take have communion with God increase your communion if we don't commune with God we ask can we commune with may God give you the power and strength to commune with him Amen. Don't just, just come to the service and end it there. You say, I have gathered in the evening. Have your personal time with God. It's you and Him. He'll tell you everything. The fourth thing that we need to have, we need to pray more. To pray have it with faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, we pray. But we need faith. Because when we pray bleeding, there is victory. Hallelujah. Amen. When we pray bleeding, there is victory. Matthew 21. Matthew 21. Matthew 21. 21 to 22. Haravuga ngo Yesu arabasubiza ati ndababwira kuri yuko mufite kwizera mudashidikanya mutakora nk'ibyo umutini gusa ahubwo mwabwira n'uyu musozi muti shingu kutabwe mu nyanja byabaho kandi ibyo muzasaba mwizeye muzabihabwa byose amen amen Matthew 20, 21 verse 21 to 22 Jesus replied, Truly I tell you, if you have faith and don't, do not doubt, not only can you do what was done by the fig tree, but you can also say to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea. It will, it will be done. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayers. Amen. 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 We need the power to pray believing. Believing without doubt. Every prayer you pray and you believe that God has heard it and has answered. Sometimes you cannot see it in the physical way. Because most of the time we ask for the things of the fresh. But when we pray believing, in the spirit God answers. When you pray believing, in the spiritual way God has answered your prayers every prayer you pray it is on your atmosphere so that at a certain time that God has planned to do with that prayer come and work but in the spiritual way God has already done it let us pray believing without doubt that whatever we pray for or what you have asked from God we have received but most of the time you find that even if we pray unceasingly may God protect us praying with the lips and we pray with the heart and you believe may God protect us from speaking with mouth but give us to speak with the heart whatever we do let us do it with the heart not just with lips because it has to be done like that way God wants us we pray believing without doubting. And Jesus spoke to the disciples and prayed, if you pray without doubt, you can speak to this mountain and it will be done. It will be done. And whatever you ask, believe you shall receive them all. 
ngaruka twisuzume let us examine ourselves and ask if our prayers we pray believing hallelujah amen mana yacu yabwi cyubahiro glory to god imana itwongera imbaraga may god give us strength to pray believing him tuyizeye believing him atari ibyo rwiyerurutso gusa not just pretend atari uko wakubwiye ngo uyu munsi n'uyu nuwa wo gusenga not because they told you you have to pray to get ukaza byo rwiyerurutso kuko ugomba gusenga and you just become you have you come because you have to but can can believe imana yawe wizeye pray and tell god you believe that whatever you told him has heard and he will answer in the name of Jesus. We seek to pray believing in the name of Jesus. May God answer your prayers that you prayed believing. Because we see faith in miracles. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to our God. May you receive to pray believing in the name of Jesus. You will see victory. May God bless you. May he do good to you. Let us continue to have faith that is strong in our lives. Brethren, let the challenges not make us. Let the problems go through not challenges. Let us know that we have Jesus who is great. Whatever the case, he will do good to us.